Hello everyone. Welcome to the discussion on basics of embedded systems. This is outline of today's discussion. So what is embedded system? An embedded system is a system that has embedded software and computer hardware, which makes it a system dedicated for an application or a specific part of application or a product or a part of a larger system. Here, a digital camera is an example of embedded system. It consists of software and hardware. Also, it is a system dedicated for a specific application, that is, to capture the images. Embedded system can be a part of a product or can be part of a larger system. For example, a car. In a car, there are different embedded systems used. Applications of embedded system. So looking at this slide, one can say that the embedded systems are all around us. For example, at home, we have microwave ovens, washing machines, TVs. At hospitals, we have different medical equipments. Characteristics of embedded system. Embedded system must be single function, means they execute a fixed single program repeatedly. Tightly constrained. Embedded systems are cost sensitive. Most of them are battery operated. And as a user, we want the performance of the embedded system must be fast, reactive and real time. Embedded system continually reacts to the changes in the system's environment and they must compute certain results in, in real time without delay. Then reliability of the embedded system must be high. Reliability is the ability to continue operating in extreme environmental conditions. Most of the embedded system may not have a user interface. Hence, Generally, no human intervention is required in such embedded systems. Embedded systems have built-in fixed application software, usually called firmware. As a user, we don't have authority. It is not user selectable. Limited resources. Majority of the embedded system have extremely limited resources. Now, when we talk about resources, there can be hardware resources or software resources. In hardware, in resources include computing speed and processing capability of CPU, size of available physical memory, and capacity of ROM or flash memory. Resources are also the functions provided by the software. And last, embedded system contains a processing engine. Usually, it can be a microprocessor or microcontroller. Figure shows an example of embedded system. This is a block diagram of a digital camera. So here we have A to DD converter at the input side. At the output side, we have a LCD screen and D to A converter. Then at the bottom, we have different interfaces like ISA bus interface, UART, we have a microcontroller which act as a processing engine for the digital camera. So digital camera performs a single function repeatedly. The system always acts as a digital camera wherein it captures, compresses and stores frames, decompresses and displays frame and upload the frames. It is tightly constrained which means the system must be low cost since Consumer must be, must be able to afford such a camera. It must be small so that it, it must fit within a standard size camera. It must be fast in the performance so that it can process numerous images in milliseconds. And we know the camera is a battery operated device. So it must consume little power so that the camera's battery will last a long. So I hope you have understood 
what is embedded system in the next video we'll discuss the different types of embedded system and design matrix of embedded system thank you everyone